So we'll... Shoral. Ooh, Shoral is Black Termaline, by the way. Did you guys know that? Uh, Smoky Quartz, Jesper Opal, Milk Opal, Black Zircon, Red Zircon, Tanzanite. Very interesting stuff. Grink. Grink Panit. Grink. Yeah, whatever. Uh, Ghost Knight. Wow. That's quite specific. Uh, but yes, please cut away. So, welcome to a new episode. I forgot what the number is, and I forgot everybody who commented. In the meantime, as I tend to do, uh, not intentionally, it's just I have very poor short-term memory, and if it hasn't entered... I don't know, memory works like slots. You have so many of them, and something has to stay... Like, let's say it's a conveyor belt, and an ent item enters onto the short-term memory at this end, and if it comes out that end, it's committed to long-term memory, and you have it forever, relatively speaking. Uh, my conveyor belt's very short, or very bumpy because things get bumped off really easy and you can only put on so many things and you put on one too many and that one's gone absolutely gone uh so yeah i'm not so good with that be that as it may we have all kinds of dwarfy things i need to do so let's take a moment to reflect on our fort here's the whew, here's the entryway now this you probably can't see my cursor, can you? Can you see the other cursor? No, you can't. Okay. Well, down there in the lower left-hand corner is the palace. And it's only like one and a half stories tall so far. There's the trees. You can see it cuts out of the forest. It's pretty nifty. Um, there's a there's a dock. A, a, an exclusive dock to the palace there. There may be other docks in the future because there's going to be, I hope, a town around this. And the town itself will still be fortress-like in such that it grants access to above-ground areas but is not ex accessible to the outside. But uh, I don't know exactly what shape that will take. Maybe it will be more random. You know, like a city tends to be. It will fit to the landscape. But... Uh, at least now I have something that is kind of defensible. I have a three-way drop here. I'll probably actually replace this uh, soon. I'll do it right now with uh, n unmeltable obsidian. Increase the value. I've got some walk uh, hallways starting up here, which means there will be rooms uh, you can access from them. In fact, let's uh, go ahead and do some of that. Obsidian blocks, hello. The central courtyard will remain open to the air, that is for sure. <sighs> I think it might be safe to record again. I've been having some pretty terrible difficulties with the game suddenly crashing repeatedly. Um, so one of my dwarfs was doing something the game didn't like. I don't know what yet. But I finally just, after ten times in a row, I, I sent them all to the uh, burrows. And it hasn't crashed since, so... Whatever it was they were doing, they haven't started doing again. I'm watching, I'm ta for those of you who have experience with the uh, Linux command prompts, I'm tailing the error log. But I don't see a reason why this is happening. Giant crab reverts, that's cool. Actually, I meant to get the cockpo out. Oh, I did, never mind. So, I don't know. I don't know, it's crazy. Okay. <clears throat> so, the new one is in, but I've been trying to figure out which... <laughs> Which clutch, basically, controlled the thing, but it was this one, down here. So, base alt and base alt should do. And I guess that means the one up top also needs to be done, so... Base alt and base alt. Oops! Stukos des Nestasmel <clears throat> has claimed a mason shop. I didn't even notice. That's definitely more interesting to me than all the, uh... Little scepters and things they've been working on. Oh man, I need seeds. I need to better, I need to learn how better to process seeds so that this doesn't happen in the first place. Oh, how about these? Mmm, wow. <clears throat> I have no seeds for a lot of things. Including things I'm probably not even using. Let's see, A, B, C, D, A. <laughs> well, I can always switch that up. I'll have more gardens in the future. And he started, he didn't? Curious to see what he's working on. He used not much basalt, wool cloth, and point cut jasper opals. All right, progress is progressing over here. I have the need for schist. 
That will connect that all up. That's good. Schist on that side. And shouldn't they start this one on this side? Hmm. Still trying to figure out. Oh, you know what? I'm not. Sp that's all wrong. One, two, three. That's supposed to be obsidian. Let's see. Obsidian. Obsidian. And then schist set. Like so. Where'd it go? Schist, schist, schist. There you are. Stukos does nastas mel. Mason has created not a Katerin, a basalt statue of dwarves. That could be useful. The defended liberty. This is a basalt statue of dwarves. The item is a masterfully designed image of dwarves in basalt by Stukos, Mr. Buttface. The dwarves are laboring. The artwork relates to the foundation of Sea City by the Sea Watch of the Flag of Equity in the early spring of 447. <clears throat> it is encrusted with cushion cut jasper opals. On the item is an image of a forgotten beast. On the item is an image of Autumn Gift Channel, the dwarf and dwarves and sheep. Wool, well, that is. Uh, Autumn is surrounded by the dwarves. It relates to the ascension of the dwarf Autumn to the position of Queen of the Flag of Equity in 58. <clears throat> One could surmise there's a relationship between these two images beyond just simply being part of the flag of equity. Perhaps like um, the many of the first dwarves were direct descendants of the queen, Autumn. Be that as it may, that's pretty freaking cool. I need to put it somewhere where people congregate, which I believe, for the time being, is here put it here uh no not support statue thank you Whew. all right so i'm starting to uh i don't know what the right term would be sequester i guess the top here i think i want more obsidian i want it to stick out the thing i'm not sure about is if i want obsidian now to start on this side down here I mean, it should, it should line up, I think. But one thing I want to make sure is that the main palace can't be ex accessed easily from the outside. What just happened? He put a floor there, but not here and here? I think that's the wrong type anyways. And <clears throat> progress continues and needs to continue until about here. Let's see. From there, what am I hearing? From there, I need um. Well, I don't know what I need. What am I talking about? Where am I? Who are you people? I'm gonna go for putting some rooms uh, along the sides here. Um, pointing, but of course you can't see me pointing, so that's helpful. Um, also figured out over here I've got to extend these out a little bit so that you can when the walls are finished walk around the edge It's a bit awkward, but you know who cares as long as you can get from point A to point B You're all good looky 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 looky. It's starting to turn into things. It's crazy How could we possibly do this? I am gonna want I think a turret of some sort some place where archers can sit up here and look down upon the bottleneck. Oh, look, the, the bridge has been withdrawn. Let me pull that back up. Uh, yeah, but there's that. This side's coming out, all right. They can walk around. I'm having a hard time telling one kind of stone from another due to all the snow, but you know, that's temporary. Still have to decide with this, because this originally here, this was reaching out towards this tower, and the tower is as of yet not reaching back. So that's a, that's the thing I have to think about. I haven't done anything down below in quite a long time. Uh, let's see. This all worked out down here, though. That was pretty cool. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. This. This is pretty much done. So let's... Uh, I think it was three... Oh, I'm surprised. Okay. E. Three. One. 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 Yep. Nope, nope. I'm so concentrating on what's going on up above that I'm not really doing anything else. Yeah, that's right. And then, boop, 
Oops, too many. Uh, so I'm opting to sort of not close the roof over this, but arch some kind of roof over it just for appearances. Given the nature of how this is laid out, this is going to take a while. Urgh. They're working on it. Cutting down some trees, too, to make room. Let's see. Oh, I also put wood up as one of the walls. And over here, I think it was like schist or something. I was not paying close enough attention. Just to make sure I don't run entirely out of schist. As I am. <clears throat> I'd like to be consistent, even though you wouldn't be able to tell by looking closely anyways. Um, I'd like to be as consistent as possible. So the underground walls are basalt. The above ground are shiny, smooth obsidian. Um, I've been using schist and dacite for floors. Marble where I can. I don't have any right now, I don't think. So I need actually to get a little bit more of that. And to that end, this is how I've been laying out the... Uh, the mine shafts. So we go all the way over. It's a bit weird, but it exposes enough material to start following veins, get a good idea of uh, what it is I'm looking at for materials, make decisions there for. And it also keeps uh, every level sort of piped to this one uh, bottleneck kind of place right here. <sighs> Obsidian. I'm glad something worked out. I These spots here where the tree limbs had been, it was telling me it couldn't find a path to get... Actually, let me go the other way. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, one less. Yeah, one less is still good. Um, it, it couldn't tell me, but... <clears throat> Whoa, that's not what I want. Crap, I have to do it all over again. Um, yeah, it then is suddenly... I, you know, I went and did something, came back. I did save the game. Maybe that helped it reconsider that these were, in fact, passable blocks. I don't know. But thankfully, at least it's taken care of itself. <sighs> Goram cat's going insane. The walls, however, are coming along. Just like so. Whoa. PG. Excellent. I'd like to put windows, but I'm <clears throat> having difficulty getting them to do anything with sand. Let's see, I have this. Oh, and they canceled all the projects. Why'd they do that? Empty storage, yeah. I, I'm paying so little attention to all these little nitpicky things they're asking me for. I'm sure this would go a little bit better if I did pay, oops, pay attention. I'm yanking out some of the cage traps. Uh, now that I no longer need them where they are, I'm putting them near the entrance, or the floor plan anyways, just in case like some sneaky guy comes in, you know, uh, what are they called, the cobalts. Let's see, how's this coming over here? Nearly done. I have to decide what's going to go on over here. It's too close to the edge to be too wallsy. Hmm. I'm going to want to close it off, but what I'm, one thing I'm thinking, one thing I'm wondering, whatever, is uh, whether or not I should do this, where it's a thicker wall. I mean, I can. I have tons. I think I have more obsidian than anything else, so I picked a rather... The cat is doing what? I think I pack, picked a rather, um... I don't know. Expensive <laughs> location. Wealthy location to build this fort. Obsidian progress. As you well know from the many other times I've said so, is progress or progressing <clears throat> these, ro uh, these rooms are looking pretty good this stuff out here is hard <laughs> I'm ha having them dump out the uh, the wood because they weren't I have such a backlog they weren't gonna use it anytime soon and I don't want it out there come time for this whole thing to you know go away I am gonna do with that though it's blocking progress right through here can't do that safely um, and I have discovered that in fact trees do grow back so it won't be a permanent thing hey look wait a minute hmm I think spring is right around because the snow 
has gone. I can see the floors again, sort of, though it seems to be snowing again. Never mind. Dip, 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 dip. It's coming along, coming along, and they're yanking all the trees out. Oof. It's looking pretty good, though. I This over here is in... I'm thinking I want statues in here, but I don't have any at the moment. Hmm, what else, what else, what else, what else? This has been a very calm episode. I haven't had a single thing attack me. I haven't had any migrants, thankfully. Uh, no traders yet. Ugh, really has been quite slow. Oh, and there it is. I think I'll close it off there. Hello. Assuming I can press the right buttons. You've probably noticed I do that a lot. The reason is actually that the microphone is blocking my view of the keyboard. Um, I usually know the keys by hand, but if I miss, then takes a while to recover. <sighs> so, uh, unrelated news. Um, this comes out Friday evening. The next day, I'll be at the DC Baltimore Pearl Workshop, which is technically a two-day thing, but I probably won't go to the second day because that's also, also Catherine's birthday. Um, but the first day is when the talks are done, you know, when people make presentations. I will probably be making one. I'm preparing one, and it's uh, about Pearl meets uh, civic hacking, which is a thing. And um, though, if we get enough people, I might not have to. That's actually starting to look more likely again. For a while there, I thought I would have to, and I was kind of not wanting to. <laughs> but it's it's not a necessarily a bad talk to have, so I might do it anyways. We'll see. But uh, that's coming up for you guys tomorrow. I'm sure, you know, last second you want to come, right? No. No. <laughs> Sorry. We are, are the plan, we've already sort of planned for the people who have registered already. Hmm. Soon I'm going to have to start thinking about this level. Oh, my gosh. Traders. Traders, 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 traders. Eggs. Do they want her turkey? Ooh, cool. I didn't realize I had eggs. Uh, let's see. Seeds. I am so low on seeds. Can I buy seeds? Yes, actually, I've been making uh, crossbows. I need to uh, set up. Oh, I have one whole bolt. Wow. Okay, that explains a few things. Um. Yeah, yeah. I need to, uh, you know, a rangers range squad. Anyways, <sighs> let's see. I have lots of metal bars though. That's pretty impressive. Gems. Send all the gems. Sand. Glass. Hmm, okay, send that as well. Clay, blocks, got lots of blocks. Sand, crafts, let's send those along, see what happens. Yeah, they don't want anything wooden. Uh, charcoal, how much? Oh, I don't have much charcoal. At all. Oh, okay. Good as up. usual, they don't have a whole lot I want, but I am going to get a, some clothing just so that my guys don't get too upset about the lack thereof. Um, with, <clears throat> despite my not being able to do a whole lot about it. Let's see, what do they have for animals? Wild boar sow, cheetah. Hmm, cheetah. Giant opossum. Hmm, yeah, it seems to be about it. I don't see anything else I want. Basalt, thank you. Let's see, how's it coming? So, <clears throat> created sort of a root cellar kind of place for storing of seeds. And that meant having to separate out the current food stores. I had several. Um, so these now have unprocessed food, and these off to the side have meals, and the course above is seeds. And <clears throat> of course, all of that will move in the future. Like these residential barracksy kind of areas ought to have food stores next to them, among other things. Let's see, what else is there? Yeah, no, there's not a whole, lot, a whole lot else going on. Goodbye, elves. Thank you for taking away all of our totems and some... Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Giant hamster. Giant hamster. Where'd you go, giant hamster? Where are you going, giant hamster? Giant hamster, I don't think you know what you're doing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. M... Yeah, A... K... What? Yeah, K... 
Oh, I see. Yes. Please ask- Ooh, look at him. <laughs> they were already out and practicing. Oh, yeah. Sorry, hamster. Oh, is this gonna be another one of those, like, month-long battles? How is it the hunters are so good at this, but people we wielding weapons by hand not so much? Let's see. Giant hamster's fighting. Potosh maker punches the giant hamster because most of them don't have weapons, apparently. Hacks, hacks, hacks. Very good. The thing is on the ground. Oh, no, they got him. All right. Hamster for lunch. Let's see. Goodbye, elves. Gosh, I wish people would more clean these passageways up a little bit more thoroughly than they do. They do seem to clean up more than they used to in older versions, but not quite enough. Uh, I'm sure I can figure out how to do that myself, though. And I put some stairs up to the top level, and there's a goose. Hello, goose. Uh, let's see what else. Still going on down here. Hmm. I've started another one of these levels. But no new no adjacent rooms just yet. And really, nothing else of merit to note. Let's see. So, <clears throat> a very calm episode. As yet, I mean, I made that, like, combat music. I actually didn't make any music this week or last week. I'm sorry. I should really keep in the habit. It's not a bad thing to be doing. But, um... Yeah, I haven't... There's one piece of music I haven't even been able to use because I haven't been attacked. Except by, I think, like a were-tortoise, was it? I already have forgotten. Oh, well. That is it me. I should probably make rock pot 20. And how about wooden... Or wood... Uh, bin. That's what I'm thinking of. Make another bunch of those, which actually probably means having to reclaim the stuff here. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. Not much happened. No, oh, thankfully no births either. That was good. Uh, yeah, well, I guess I'm just going to end the episode, actually. Let's get some plants. End the episode. And, uh, maybe have another week off, just because like I said, as of tomorrow and the day after, it, I'm going to be another weekend unable to record. So, right, we'll get that out of the way, I guess. All right. Thanks for watching. Please come again.